Here are the top eight A2 naked motorcycles that you should be considering in 2024. In at eight, we find the Husqvarna Svartpilen 401. The Svartpilen 401 made its debut back in 2018 alongside its 801 counterparts. Almost six years later, the larger bikes are gone and the Husqvarna are purely focusing on 401 models and they're still a great option in this category. The Svartpilen 401 uses the same 373cc single cylinder engine as the 2023 KTM 390 Duke, as well as its premium components like the Bible brakes and adjustable WP Apex suspension. The looks have always been one of this bike's biggest selling points and nothing has changed there. It has an interesting neo retro style that you will either love or hate, but for me it's a fabulous looking machine. One interesting feature that the Svartpilen 401 does have that sets it apart in this class is a built in quick shifter as standard, so gear changes are going to be completely hassle free. Previously this bike felt like a bit of a fashion statement with its price a bit on the high side compared to its rivals, however the current model is now one of the cheapest bikes on this list starting at £5,499. There is still a lot to like about this A2 naked motorcycle in 2024. So the power is 44 horsepower, the seat height is 820 millimeters, the weight is 154.5 kilograms dry, the tank size is 9.5 liters and the price £5,499. Taking seventh place is the Fantic Caballero 500 Deluxe. Fantic have been making some excellent bikes of late and the Caballero 500 Deluxe is a real standout. The Italian design is clear and striking with a gorgeous finish and some lovely extra details like the leather padded crossbar and seat. Retro inspired motorcycles are still as popular as ever, so if you like the style, the visuals on the Caballero speak for themselves. When it comes to the engine, it is a Chinese built 40 horsepower liquid cooled single cylinder produced by Zong Shen. They have been working with a lot of the major manufacturers to help keep costs down and generally do a great job, so don't let that put you off. The Caballero 500 Deluxe is punchy and responsive, with the latest model receiving improved engine mapping for increased pull across all rev ranges. Fantic build this model as a true dual sport. It's comfortable in urban commuting, while the knobbly tyres from Pirelli and the 19 inch front wheel will let you go for a spin in the mud as well, if that's your thing. It keeps things pretty simple in terms of tech features, but the dual channel ABS can be switched off for a more raw experience, which is a nice touch especially if you want to go off-road for a bit. The price on the Fantic Caballero 500 Deluxe is £6,750 brand new, but at the time of filming they are offering an £800 contribution to purchase as well as an extended four-year warranty, and that is a great package. So the power is 40 horsepower, the seat height is 820 to 840 mil, the weight is 150 kilograms dry, the tank size is 12 litres and the price £6,750. For number six, we have the Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. The Interceptor is a bike that should be on everyone's radar by now. It has been a huge seller in the UK for years and makes for a motorcycle that is fun to ride, looks fantastic and has an appealing budget price tag too. The latest 2024 Interceptor 650 has had its inline twin cylinder engine updated to beat Euro 5 standards and maintains its 46.9 horsepower output, putting it right at the top of the A2 allowance. It isn't quite the standout bargain it once was, but with the price starting at £6,399, new models like Fantic's Caballero and Honda's Hornet 500 are right there in the same price range. The new models offer the option of a blacked out engine and some tasty new liveries which make it look better than ever. If you like this style, there isn't much that can compete with the Interceptor in this category. It may be a little rough around the edges, but still offers great A2 performance and an attractive price tag well worth a look in 2024. So the power is 46.9 horsepower, it's got an 804 millimeter seat height, weighs in at 217 kilograms wet, which is heavy, tank size is 13.7 liters and the price 6,499 pounds. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you are going to need to get an insurance quote on your motorcycle or scooter. Now, when that time comes, make sure to visit leximinsurance.co.uk or click the link in the top right hand corner now. Lexham have been providing motorcycle and scooter insurance for well over 22 years and are home to several insurance schemes. So, when the time comes and you need to get insurance, make sure to get a quote directly with Lexham and see if you can save yourself a few quid on your insurance. Back on with the show. At 5 we put the Yamaha MT-03. Although no major updates for 2024, the MT-03 from Yamaha remains an excellent A2 bike and one of the tastiest looking options in this category. The latest MT-03 has its own unique front end with a sleek triple headlight setup, while the rest of the design fits in nicely with the muscular street vibe the MT range is famous for. It also emulates the riding style of its bigger brothers too, with some nice low down torque and strong engine braking to create that hooligan style, albeit considerably less power. Still, the two cylinder 321cc engine puts out a decent 42 horsepower, which combined with its 160 kilogram wet weight gives it plenty of fun factor for any A2 rider. Similarly to the 07, the MT-03 has a slightly forward leaning ride stance which offers the comfort of an upright naked bike but with a 
bit more added aggression. In terms of fancy rider aids, Yamaha keep it light. There is ABS and a high quality LCD display, but not much else. That is fine and dandy when a bike is this well put together and easy to ride, and at £6,005 brand new, it's still a force to be reckoned with within this category. So the power is 42 horsepower, the seat height is 780mm, it weighs in at 167 kilograms wet, tank size is 14 litres and the price £6,005. In fourth place is the Kawasaki Z500. Kawasaki have been steadily improving and evolving their A2Z model since its release, growing from a 300cc to a 400cc and now for 2024, the Z500 reaches its final form. As with all these A2 machines, the manufacturers have recognised that riders still want a bike that looks cool despite the smaller size. As a result, the Z500 is designed to fit right in alongside the other bikes in the Z range and shares that aggressive angular design that works so well. This latest model comes with the new triple headlight design and is the sweetest looking yet. The new liquid cooled parallel twin engine has been increased to 451cc and now meets Euro 5 Plus requirements while still adhering to A2 license restrictions. The overall power output is the same as the previous model at 44.7 horsepower, but maximum torque has been increased to 42 newton meters, which should give it a little bit more bite. The addition of a slipper clutch as standard is a nice touch to get some effortless gear changes in. After unveiling at EICMA in November, the new Z500 will arrive in 2024 alongside the third Ninja 500 and both will come with a special edition that adds a full colour TFT dash with Bluetooth connectivity as well as a unique special edition livery. So the power is 44.7 horsepower, the seat height is 785mm, weighs in at 172 kilograms wet, tank size is 14 litres and the price £5,699. Into the top three and the Honda CB500 Hornet takes third place. Freshly unveiled at EICMA, Honda have the new CB500 Hornet entering the mix for 2024 and it looks like a fantastic option in the lightweight naked category. The Sharp Hornet styling perfectly matches the larger versions and comes in a variety of colorways that all look fantastic. Underneath the new look, the Hornet is largely based on the previous CB500F with the same 471cc parallel twin engine, putting out 46.9 horsepower with 43 newton meters of torque, peaking at 6,500 RPM. The excellent Showa upside down forks and Nissin radial mounted brakes remain the same too, but if it isn't broke, no need to fix it. There is a new backlit 5 inch TFT display in full colour with smart connectivity and the Honda RoadSync app for turn by turn navigation amongst other things. There is also the new selectable torque control from Honda as well as improved mapping for more acceleration. An optional quick shifter is available if you really want to push the boat out but you'll have to pay a bit extra for that. The price on the 2024 CB500 Hornet starts at £6,199 and considering the high spec and suite of features, I think it could well become a top contender in the category. So the power is 46.9 horsepower, the seat height is 785mm, the weight is 188 kilograms wet, tank size is 17.1 litres and the price £6,199. Just shy of the number one spot is the KTM 390 Duke in second place. KTM's 390 Duke has been one of the gems of this category since its first release all the way back in 2013. It was one of the models that really pushed things forward in terms of what you could expect from a lightweight A2 naked. Over the last decade, the 390 Duke has been steadily refined, but 2024 marks its first major update with a new engine, new chassis, and new visuals. The new chunky angular bodywork makes the 390 look like a little super Duke, and that is a very good thing considering how great that bike looks. A slightly longer wheelbase and improved frame geometry increasing the bike's cornering and agility and despite all these updates the 390 Duke is actually lighter than the previous version at just 165 kilograms. The latest LC4C single cylinder engine is slightly larger than before at 399 cc and offers increased performance with a 44 horsepower and 39 newton meters of torque. It also now falls in line with Euro 5.2 regulations and in fact almost every aspect of the bike has been improved from the gearbox to the foot pegs. One of the main selling points of the 390 90 Duke has always been just how many boxes it manages to tick, with a huge amount of tech included to match its sharp performance. The 2024 model still offers all of the gubbins with ride modes, adjustable WP Apex suspension at the front and back, full colour TFT display, Bosch ABS and traction control. The 2024 Duke has it all. So the power is 44 horsepower, the seat height is 820mm, weighs in at 165 kilograms wet, tank size, we don't know, the price £5,699. Taking the ultimate number one spot on our list is the Triumph Speed 400 and Scrambler 400X. First announced in June last year, the all new Triumph 400s look set not just to take on the A2 market by storm, but the world. The collaboration with Indian firm Bajaj Auto allows Triumph to keep costs low, making this a very appealing option economically. 
Both bikes are sleek with signature Triumph lines and style, boasting three color options for each. The real star here is the 400cc TR series single cylinder engine, cracking out a very reasonable 39.5 brake horsepower at 8,000 RPM and 37.5 Nm torque at 6,500 RPM. Triumph quote an average of around 80 miles per gallon, and Alex, who recently attended the press launch in Spain, testified that it is frugal, seeing an average of around 70 miles per gallon. Combine this with an entry price of £4,995 for the speed and £5,595 for the scrambler, you're going to be quids in on a fantastic machine. They're equipped the Bybury brakes, 43mm big piston upside down forks paired to an external reservoir rear shock with a preload spanner adjustability. An analog LCD split dash displaying your current gear, average consumption and range remaining. The Scrambler also hosts an off-road mode, switching off ABS and traction control whilst the speed just packs switchable traction control. In UK dealers now, these bikes are sure to be a big hit the world over. So the power is 39.5 horsepower, the seat height is 790mm for the speed, 835mm for the scrambler, the weight is 170kg for the speed, 178kg for the scrambler, the tank size is 13 litres on both, and the price £4,995 for the speed, £5,595 for the scrambler. Am I totally wrong here? Should the Duke have taken the top spot? maybe but the new triumph 400s are undeniably competitive let me know your favorite in the comments check out our top 10 middleweight naked bikes video up there and alex's review of these bad boys over there like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one ciao